dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny Alaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a legata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline. Are you ready to pray? I made up my mind that I will open up the truth to God's people to really understand with balance and with understanding don't just say i'm born again and everything is over it may not be very accurate you need to be instructed and to have superior spiritual understanding for now you understand what deliverance is that it has to do with establishing and manifesting your victory not fighting for it hallelujah you have won the victory hallelujah hallelujah you have won it all for me hallelujah hallelujah you have won the victory Time and then we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Two prayer points. Prayer point number one, I taught you the three levels of demonic influences. You are going to pray and immune yourself by knowledge and declare that in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, for you and for your loved ones, whether it is witchcraft through deception, whether it is manipulation and control of your mental faculties, whether it's possession of your unsaved loved ones, declare in the name of Jesus that you are free completely from this. Open your mouth and begin to pray. 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 Shapekatos koto parakata, embrekete parakos katila kataba, ebrakatos kani parusiata. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray. Shapran dege pakatos kali kapras. E proteke parakato seketele makata. Hallelujah. We are still praying. Second Corinthians chapter ten. Second Corinthians chapter ten. Please give us verse five. Second Corinthians ten, and let's start from verse four. Second Corinthians ten four. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds you know what a stronghold is a stronghold is a negative mindset that has been fortified by the presence of demon spirits to ensure that the victim remains in that thought pattern they are called strongholds when a wrong mindset now has the fortification 
of demon spirits it is that state that makes the individual the word of god of non effect casting down imaginations from the word imagery and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of god and bringing into captivity help me every thought this is the realm of warfare your mind even though satan knows that you have the victory he knows that your mind is part of the participatory systems that will make victory manifest so he will hijack your thinking are you ready to pray lay your hands on your head representing your mind and i want you to begin to prophesy i have a sound mind in the name of jesus a mindset that is word based word compliant word based word compliant someone is praying lay your hands on your head prophetically over your children someone is praying Shake it, take a pack of toast, cut up, break it up. Shkati prende kete reke tashki aba. Shapra keto skatiya. Every wrong thinking, every wrong teaching, every wrong understanding, cultural, demonic, sociological, that is authorizing darkness to take advantage of me in the name of jesus i cast down every imagination pray sustain faulty thinking patterns that came from culture that came from your failure that came from your association that came from the poor mentorship platforms that has built an inaccurate understanding about God. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Yeah. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. prayer point number two this is the last prayer point now please let me pray for you and beseech you don't miss next week's service next week's service is another miracle service i know we have a monthly miracle service but that is when i'm going to be ministering i'll be taking out time we are going to be breaking yokes and curses and all kinds of demonic things and i will not only be praying for you i will be teaching you that you will go back home and it will be like wildfire that all this nonsense that has trapped people down it must give way once and for all <laughs> hallelujah now listen to me you are going to engage the blood just one last prayer can i tell you this i told you when satan is afflicting an individual on legal basis you don't cast him you engage the blood I'll be teaching you more about the blood next week. But you see, the blood is the system that vetoes every legal operation of Satan because the blood is payment too. Are we together? Satan, when we, some of you who are into the financials, banking and the rest, they call banks systems of settlement. Is that true? If I buy something and I buy whatever it is, when you pay me, you have settled me. It's a system of appeasal. Transactions are simply systems of appeasals. That's what happens in the realm of the spirit. 
the blood of Abel was crying because there was injustice it was crying for appeasal and every time Satan stands to accuse you before God accuse your family before God if the blood does not speak he is right so what you do in that state is to plead the blood the moment you plead the blood the scene of judgment changes it's no longer you it will be Jesus standing there I want you to understand the revelation behind the blood it does not matter whether some of you here are legal people the moment you bring the blood the accused no longer becomes the accused the accused becomes Jesus only one question will be asked of Satan who sinned that Jesus was crucified it was not him if a sinless man can become guilty then a guilty man can be declared righteous based on that the judge of all the ages will say you are not guilty once and for all are you ready to plead the blood remember what I taught you now that in pleading the blood you no longer become the accused your family no longer becomes the accused Jesus stands in your stead the advocate now I want you to plead the blood over your wife your husband listen your children your business your family mention them by name if you can every legal access that is giving Satan access over my life by the blood of Jesus I declare that voice is silence lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray the advocate stands in your stead the advocate speaks in your stead the advocate he does not fail the judge of all the earth if the sinless one can become the guilty one then the guilty one can be declared not guilty go ahead and let the blood speak even for the sins of the fathers even for the sins of territories even for the sins of nations by the blood we call for the advocacy of Jesus over the matters of life and destiny over the matters of altars and covenants over the matters of decrees and agreements blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross hallelujah hallelujah please shout this say after me say in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare that by the blood of Jesus the blood of the eternal covenant every legal access that Satan has over my life over my family over my children over my territory by the blood of Jesus I declare that access broken now I decree and I declare that I am a partaker of the righteousness of Jesus Christ therefore I pass a decree as one anointed of God Satan take your hands of my life of my job of my destiny of my health i decree it is a new season i decree only the word of the lord comes to pass in my life your strategies of deception over me will not work again i decree that i have spiritual enlightenment I am a child of God you have no power over me the blood speaks against you it speaks for me but it speaks against you 
in Jesus name I pray give Jesus a big hand clap and a shout of praise hallelujah we're wrapping up resist the devil and he will flee you don't resist him by just saying go you resist him by bringing forth your strong reasons he said present your cause bring forth your strong reason the strongest reason is the blood are we together let me make the altar call thank you for your patience please let's keep standing to honor those who will be coming I told you that salvation is the greatest form of deliverance because if you are not a bona fide partaker of the life of God then you remain on legal basis a victim of Satan he has right and authorization to afflict you there are people here you are listening to me you are in this auditorium across the balconies outside and following across the globe you are saying apostle give me a chance i need to experience this deliverance fast or there are people who are saying i need renewal of my relationship with jesus following this series i have seen the necessity for jesus if you belong to any of these two categories i'm going to count one to five very quickly for sake of time i want you to boldly leave your seat remember what i taught you about deception don't give in to satan and don't wait for someone to stand before you come as i begin to count i want you to leave your seat you are inside here you are around please give them room so that they can come quickly and come and stand let's celebrate them as they come one i believe someone is coming to jesus young and old come to jesus come to jesus is there anyone coming to jesus god bless you god bless you koinonia celebrate them as they come god bless you god bless you come right to the front here all overflows just move to your led screens and all following from your homes following from everywhere this is your chance to make jesus lord of your life win that war right now do not allow satan to take advantage of you there is a bailout system in christ let's celebrate them as they come let's celebrate them as they come hallelujah thank you please if you're coming just rush and come i'm about to lead the people through the prayer session right now i salute every one of you for making this bold and noble decision god bless you please join them quickly thank you for making this decision we're teaching on the deliverance series and believe me god means business with us he means business with you thank you for that bold decision it is only Satan who will be losing in this series in the name of Jesus Christ now may I request that you lift your right hand lift it high above your head please if you are joining quickly just come and stand very quickly very quickly God bless you God bless you God bless you <laughs> hallelujah say this after me listen mean it from the depth of your heart Jesus is here say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe that it is within your power to deliver me from the power of sin Satan hell and the grave I declare that I believe in Jesus and by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my spirit I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign with Christ the power of Satan the power of sin the power of hell and the grave is broken over my life I declare that I'm a child of God from tonight until forever I am a child of God amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious ones they have come declaring their faith in Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit I declare your sins forgiven and I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit I declare may you be grounded and established in righteousness 
from tonight you go forward ever and backward never in jesus name i pray amen and amen let's celebrate them now i want you to please follow the counselors by my right which is your left all of you just move in concert and the counselors will have a word or two with you and you'll be back to your seat god bless you let's celebrate them as they go is this the best you can do koinonia hallelujah praise the name of the lord so like i announced next week we'll be wrapping up and i'm going to be teaching you administering deliverance we'll be dealing with the weapons of victory the whole armor of god and then we're going to be touching a few things just to guide you and then we'll spend time praying and trusting god to establish in reality the victory that is in christ as for god he's more than ready to step into our lives like i told you you will experience marvelous testimonies in your life in jesus name like we did last week we're fasting on thursday i hope that everybody participated in this fast please discipline yourself fast on thursdays and like i instructed us between 11 o'clock and 5 o'clock 11 p.m and 5 a.m every day choose any one hour and pray every day we are praying all through this series it's about discipline it's about it's not about convenience choose any one hour and pray if you don't know what to pray for just play worship and pray in the spirit for one hour it is for your own spiritual edification and the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.